Four forces. Who remembers four forces? This is a good exercise that A, gets us in the room, but B, it's a great exercise to actually kind of pause and reflect. You know, it's something, again, I probably thought about during COVID was every time a birthday comes around, you go, oh my God, they just seem to be getting faster and faster. You, know, you get to a certain month, you go, where's the year gone? And I thought about this, why does this tend to happen? I find it happens for me when I actually don't when I don't pause and reflect on what, I, what I'm actually grateful for right now. I mightn't have hit that financial goal that I wanted to hit, but I've still got a heck of a lot I could be grateful for. And it's also acknowledging, you know, what are the things that have we had to grow through and learn over time? You know, what are some what are some of the things that have actually have been really good? Where we adapted or evolved or made a courageous decision. But also to reflect and go, okay, what do I still have to do? And more importantly, is that still relevant? One of the things I hope you get out of these couple of days is that when you truly start to understand numbers, I find it actually narrows my focus. When I didn't really understand my numbers, when I didn't really understand what produced a great number, what produced a poor number, I just had to do stuff. Every time I read something or heard something, I go, oh, I've got to do that. When I got control of my numbers, it helped narrow my focus and realise a lot of the stuff that I thought that I had to do, I didn't actually need to do. And they're actually kind of just star jumps, as Blake would have talked to you about before. Standing in front of the hurdle and actually going over it. Anyone guilty of star jumping from time to time? Really? Three people? All right, who's still not putting the hand up? Who's not going to put the hand up no matter how many times I ask you to put your hand up? I'm pretty sure we've all been guilty of star jumps, right? So we're going to do this exercise, and I'll bring it up. And it's one of those exercises where in years gone by and we've done a mastermind, and some of the older iterations of mastermind, particularly in the UK, would say this is just going to go for a session. You end up going for three. The first one, he's talking about gratitude. Next thing, the whole room's crying. And it's, it's a cool exercise. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, so we've got our four forces. First of all, we start with you know, the gratitude. What am, I actually, what am I proud of? And this isn't, this isn't about work life. This is life. What am I proud of? What am I grateful for? Second of all is growth. Again, reflecting on these two years, I'm sure there's been quite a bit of it. What have I achieved and where have I had to break through? Third one, the incompletes, what still needs to be done? But the caveat to that is, is it still relevant or is it a star jump? And finally, aspirations. What needs to be different in the next 90 days? And the caveat to all this in the middle, we've got the why, the what, and the how. I like to summarise that with a question. Actually, write this down. It could be the most important question I'm going to say. What is my outcome? When I'm looking at things, going, should I do it? Should I not do it? Maybe I should do that. If I'd actually pause and reflect, what's my outcome? Will this actually help me get to my outcome? Years ago, there was a, um, a New Zealand... America's Cup challenge. And as part of the planning of that process, the fellow who was heading up the challenge, um, above his door, had a sign that said, will this make the boat go faster? Someone comes in and says, ooh, I think the paint should be gray rather than black. Will this make the boat go faster? Well, actually, it absorbs less heat. And it does something to some sort of coefficient. And yes, it actually does. So they painted it gray. So does it make the boat go faster? Which is another way of saying, what's your outcome? It's a really good question to use, not only for yourself, when you're thinking about you know, the direction, the decisions you make, but when, you, when you're talking with team members, and I don't know about your teams, but people come and go, hey, I think this is a great idea, we should do that. And me, sometimes being a bit of a pleaser, we go, oh yeah, let's do that. 
And then someone else will say something else. So we'll, I'll run off doing that. And all of a sudden, I'm running off trying to add all these things or fix all these things. And it's like a game of whack-a-mole. You know that game, whack-a-mole? Every time I think of something, you've got to whack it. Anyone else experience that from time to time? Whereas someone comes to you with something and says, okay, what's your outcome? Then they get to pause and think, whoa, what is our outcome? We kind of talk it through and then it might decide that's actually not that important. So we're going to come back to what's my outcome a lot of the time. So particularly when you look at my incompletes, just apply the lens, what's my outcome? Is this going to get us towards the vision we want to achieve? So we'll do now, let's spend 10 minutes going through gratitude. So have a bit of a thank yourself, chat with, you, chat with the person next to you. 